guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video natural homemade facial that is what this channel is all about and that's what i'm going to share with you today i'm going to share a wonderful facial mask with you that you can use on your skin to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines if you're looking for natural facial natural treatment for your skin this is the channel for you i'm going to whip up some simple ingredient today that are known to get rid of wrinkles on the skin fine lines and also to get rid of spots and blemishes from your skin now if you're interested in seeing how i create this awesome goodness for your skin continue watching. our first ingredient is banana and banana is very moisturizing to the skin not only will it moisturize the skin but it will also get rid of pimples blackhead and clear the skin of spots and blemishes it will help to lighten the skin and soften the skin our next ingredient is tomato and tomato is used on the skin as a brightening agent it will clear dark spots and blemishes especially acne scars it will lighten the skin brighten the skin and have your skin looking radiant in no time our next ingredient is lemon and lemon is another wonderful ingredient that is great for lightening and brightening the skin lemon is loaded with vitamin C and vitamin C is very beneficial to the skin it will help your skin to look years younger, especially when mixed with the other ingredient. If you do not have lemon, not to worry, go ahead and use some lime in this recipe. Now, before I get any further, take a look at what I'm gonna be doing here. These two are the main ingredients, our banana and our tomato. Now, if you have dry skin, you're gonna use your banana, tomato and you're going to use some good old coconut oil in this recipe now if you have normal skin you're going to go ahead and use the lemon in this recipe okay now if you're in between you could use a little of the lemon and a little of the coconut oil in the recipe if you do not have coconut oil use some olive oil or even some almond oil and that is for dry skin and normal skin go ahead and use these three ingredients or if you choose you could tip a little bit of the coconut oil all right so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to prepare the banana and i'm making just a batch for one use so i'm just going to peel the banana this one looks good half of a medium banana I'm going to chop the banana for blending. The ripe of the banana is better. So if you have banana that is overripe, don't throw it out. Just save it to make this facial mask. So I'm just going to put my banana in the blender. I'm not adding any water to this. I'm just going to blend. Feeling a little hungry, so I'm coming back to eat a piece of the banana, believe it or not. And take a look at the blended banana very creamy so I'm now I'm just gonna pour this out make sure to get everything out And this is the blended banana. Next, I'm going to move on to preparing the tomato. So I'm going to use a half of the tomato. So here I have a half of the tomato. And I'm just going to chop the tomato since I'm also going to be blending the tomato. As with the banana, you do not need to add any water to the tomato, just blend as is. And here we have our blended tomato. So now that we have all the ingredients ready, we're gonna put the facial mask together. Remember, if you have very dry skin, 
go ahead and use the coconut oil instead of the lemon. If you have in between, you can use the lemon and still use a little bit of the coconut oil or the olive oil, whatever oil you have. So for our blended banana, this is about two tablespoons of blended banana. And I'm using one tablespoon of our blended tomato. I'm squeezing about a, a teaspoon of lemon juice. And that should be good. Get rid of the seeds. Now this is a very powerful spot remover recipe. Now we have the banana in this which is going to moisturize the skin and we have the tomato and the lemon which is going to lighten and brighten that skin. It's going to leave your skin really refreshing, supple looking and radiant. So if you find you having dull, rough looking skin, acne prone skin, aging skin, wrinkles and fine lines and you're looking for a quick pick me up, a quick boots of vitamin C, a quick lightening and brightening recipe, there it is for you. Okay, so now this is ready and take a look at it. You can store this in your refrigerator for about seven days. It's going to be good. This is good to use at least two to three times per week. However, after you use this for the very first time, you're going to notice a significant difference to your skin. Anyway, come with me on the other side and I'll show you how to apply this to your skin for best result. Now, if you're using the coconut oil or the olive oil in this recipe, a half of a teaspoon is all you need, okay? Now before you apply this to the skin, you want to start with clean skin. So you're going to wash your face the way you normally do. Just cleanse your face of all the grease and dirt from the skin. This is a very light mask. So I like to use a brush to apply it to my skin. So I'm just going to take the brush and apply it to the skin in upward strokes. If you want to make this mask a little more effective, you can choose to place it in your refrigerator just before you use it, okay? And it's going to be very, very cool on the skin. And that's going to further help to get rid of all those wrinkles and fine lines from the skin. So just brush the mask on your skin, all over your face. If you have sagging neck and jawline, don't forget to go down on the neck and décolleté with this facial mask. Upward strokes. Careful, don't let this get in your eyes. Your forehead, especially if you have a lot of forehead wrinkles, just apply it. Now once you finish applying it to the skin, just sit with it for about 30 minutes. If you have more time, sit with it a little longer. Now after that, you're going to rinse this off, best rinse off in the shower and you're going to pat dry and apply your favorite facial moisturizer or your favorite facial toner. Now this facial mask is best to use at least two to three times per week for best result. You can make enough of this and store it in your refrigerator for about seven days. Now give the mask a chance to work. After the very first time you use it, you're going to feel your skin feeling really great, soft and supple. But with continuous use, you're going to notice that your fine lines and wrinkles just slowly disappear. Your skin is going to look healthier. It's going to look younger, fresher, and basically just radiant and glowing. Choose to use a wonderful anti-aging facial serum or a wonderful anti-aging facial moisturizer on your skin along with using this mask, okay? So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, don't leave without giving it a thumbs up. Share the video and leave your comments. And if this was the first time watching, look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.